It's about time we play another team game. If you're seeing this one first, you are on team Cylinder Present. I said circular, but it just sounded weird. We're gonna wrap our present in red fluffy frosting. Once all of our red wrapping paper is on, it is time to add some silky white fluffy frosting ribbons. Alright, I'm done with all the silly adjectives. If you want to give me a Christmas present, you could go check out my first ever YouTube video and leave me a fun comment. This cake is for the Panza family. Their daughter interviewed me for a high school project a couple weeks ago, and their mom ordered a Christmas cake while they were there. They were super kind, so thank you Panza family for the cake order. It's been a little while, so I'd say... Hannah from Utah, one of my followers, donated this cake. So I figured what better way to decorate it than make it a present. If you're seeing this one, you're on team box present. I wrapped the present in red fluffy frosting and added some white ribbons on it. This one gets a special little ticket on it because Hannah donated the cake. So I want them to know who it's from. This cake not only is getting decorated like a gift, it actually is going to be a gift. That's because... For the longest time I thought you guys all loved the ganache more. But lately, whenever I meet someone that likes my TikTok, I ask them what they like better. The frosted cake videos or the ganache cake videos. And to my surprise, probably 90% of you guys have been saying the frosting videos. But a few months ago, I swear everyone used to say ganache. So I want you to tell me, ganache or frosting? Or both? Also, just want to let you know I safely made it back to Michigan. Happy birthday, Lily. I hope you enjoyed your cake. It was tons of fun writing your name with all the loops in it. But, you know... This isn't your traditional Christmas cake. It's actually a Mario Kart cake. It's wrapped in blue fluffy frosting. Then you smooth that all out. Once that's all smoothed out, you're gonna make a track of rainbow star sprinkles. Once your track is on, you're gonna add some fluffy clouds to the bottom. These are so much fun. I always think of Toy Story when I do them. Once all the clouds are on, it is time to add your Mario Kart. Mario's always winning, so he goes first. They still let me write Merry Christmas, even though this is the second cake I've ever made on TikTok. I mean, this isn't the same one, but this is the same kind of cake. It was my first video to hit a million views. I made this same type of cake for my sister graduating college. The other day, my friend Donovan asked if I could make a peanut butter cake for one of his coworkers. And I thought, what better of a cake to make than this one? It's me and my sister's favorite. And it has the perfect combination of peanut butter, vanilla, and chocolate. So if you'd like to see that video, I replied to a comment linking this video to that video. Since comment on pretty much every tiktok that i see and for some reason people hate on me for it but guys i understand what it's like to put time and effort into something and so i want to show them that i appreciate what they're doing and because one of my favorite things about this app is getting to know other people from everywhere around the world try it guys it's fun maybe you're one of the people that's asked me why I get so many orders from TikTok, my coworkers had to make me my own clipboard to put all my orders on. So I thought it was so odd the other day when I came in and looked at my clipboard and my brother's name was on there. So I guess he ordered a cake online for me and my sister to eat. He wanted a cake to celebrate his new job roasting coffee at this company. So me and Destiny designed the inside of the cake and made it whatever we wanted because we get to eat it. And then my brother just wanted some simple waves on the outside. And the other order done since. I've been low-key afraid to make this video for a long time. At the beginning, I was afraid that someone would steal my style. I worked so hard to come up with this, and to actually get good at it. But this is another way that I film. I take a bendy tripod and I wrap it around my neck. This way, I can film on my phone and I don't have to buy any fancy technology. It makes my life a lot easier because everything's right on my phone. Yes, I do film with my phone under my chin though. I just don't do that as often because this is a lot easier. But this does make it really difficult because I don't know if you can tell, but the phone is like right in your face. But I've definitely got really used to it lately. But if I'm being honest, I think I've seen a lot of improvement with my writing while wearing the camera. It's really hard with the camera in your face to understand the depth perception that you normally would have when you write on a cake. But I keep practicing and getting better and better. I definitely still have days where it looks terrible, but... It's Wednesday, and you guys have asked me to do this multiple times, and I've done it before, but I'm going to try it again. I'm mixing together every flavor that we have. The artists in me love this part because it was so cool to watch all the colors blend together. I felt like I was paint mixing or something. But as I smoothed them out and mixed them together, I was just dreading the flavor that it was about to be. So I put them in a piping bag, and I piped out these little cookies. But before I even froze them, I tried a little bit, and I couldn't even get myself to taste a cookie. 
So I put those all back because this was absolutely disgusting and a terrible idea. I still feel gross, but I did get some of my coworkers to try it off camera.